reviewing the Pure Flame Alice 50 electric linear fireplace. Uh, I just installed it. Actually, I, I built this, this media wall around this fireplace that I bought because I had a standard uh, TV stand here uh, with, with shelving units on both sides, which looked nice, but I've had it for a long time. And uh, I installed, three years ago, I put a Pure Flame Western 33 fireplace in my basement family room in the fireplace, which is a, their more traditional type fireplace. And since then, I thought, I, I wish I had a fireplace up in the, the living room, you know, where we always sit every day. So I started researching it. I saw that they make these linear fireplaces, and this looks so modern and looks so good that I thought, I'm going to buy it. And then I had to build this whole wall around it. So anyway, I've already hooked it up and tried it out. It, it absolutely looks great. I'm going to walk you through all of the steps of what it does and all the features in that. All right, so here's what we got so far. I'm working on the, the media wall, which is going to have a fireplace, electric fireplace down here and a TV up here. And basically what we have is um, there's a two, this is two walls. Uh, there's a two by four wall and then a two by six wall in front of it. This is the fireplace opening. And basically this is going to house a Pure Flame uh, Alice 50 fireplace that uh, needs to have a two by six, two by six framing. So that's part of the reason for the two by six in front, the two by fours in the back. Now uh, I believe this opening is, uh, I'll verify, but I believe it's 48 by 18, uh, I think it's 18 and an eighth, uh, and that's the perfect size. So anyway, I'm going to get ready to start drywalling. So this is what we got so far. This is a fairly heavy unit. It uh, weighs, this, this box weighs about 80 pounds. So anyway, it says it's a team lift, but I, I didn't have any problem handling it. So here's what the unit looks like. Uh, it's about 50 inches long, and I think the height is 18 inches. And in the user guide, it kind of gives you the dimensions, you know, to rough out the opening. What you have to do when you're, you're roughing out the opening is it needs to be, as you can see here, it needs to be 2 by 6 construction. There's handles on both sides. So it's a heavy unit, but it is something that one person could handle if you're careful. But anyway, let me show you how uh, that slides in here. And then once you have it in place, there's a couple of ears on here. So you'll put two screws on both sides and that will secure the unit in there. So I don't think it could fall out, but just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Now the fireplace comes with different kinds of crystals. I'll show you. You have these big crystals. They kind of look like ice cubes. And I guess you could you could put them in there if you just wanted to use the big crystals and see how that looks. I chose to go with the two other type crystals. There's these little clear ones, and then there's also these these dark ones that are kind of they're they're mostly dark, but they have clear spots on them. They look real nice in there. So there's the crystal bed anyway, and then I'm going to add the, the little logs now. So. And again, these just stack within this kind of this little uh, shelf area. And 
and then you're ready to go ahead and put on the glass front. slides right in place and then you know it's in place when it kind of evens up with the vents that are here in front. Let's run through and take a look at some of the different flame colors and settings uh, and let you see what what different ones you can you can have. Here's the first one. This one is I like this this setting. This is traditional orange flames and it has a little bit of blue flames in there which I think looks really good and uh, it looks real nice with the little logs that go in there but this setting I think is really nice uh, this next setting this is my favorite this one is just orange flames more like a traditional fireplace that you would see uh, that you would see anywhere uh, I think this one looks really good I mean uh, it looks like like a real fireplace to me, especially from across the room. I think the flames look look great, and uh, it really is modern looking. This is probably the one that I'll use uh, most of the time. Here's another one with blue flames, but there's more blue flames in there. You can see that there's orange flames. I like this one too, uh, but. Uh, I'm not sure if it looks like a traditional fire, which is kind of what I'm looking for, but I do like it. It adds a little bit of, you know, a little bit of flare, having the blue flames in there. Uh, still, it's mostly orange. It looks good. And then this one, all blue. I don't know that I'd ever use this one, but, uh, you know, it's there in case you want to try out uh, different settings. Now here I just want you to see some of the colors that you could get under the crystal bed. So I'm going to run you through some of that. A nice deep red. And then there's an orange, which looks good. And then some of the other colors you get. Now it's going into green. You get three different colors of green. And then there's blue. You get three different colors of blue. That's a real deep blue, kind of a purple. And then you go into magenta. You get three different colors of magenta. So all in all, we're super happy with the fireplace. We've had it about a week, and uh, uh, my wife loves it. I love it. I think the flames look really good, and it's about as close to a real fireplace as I think you could get, and a great price at $3.99. So if you're thinking about getting an electric fireplace, a linear style, this is the one I recommend, the Pure Flame Alice. That's my review. Get one. You'll like it.